Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are simulating a huge number of rigid bodies in Blender. Do you remember seeing those videos of coffee beans getting mixed or candies falling out of jars and stuff? Well, if you got a powerful enough system or that much more time, this should be helpful. Let's assume this cube is a rigid body we want to simulate. And let's assume you need a huge number of these. What do you do? Shift D a hundred times? Not exactly. There is a simpler way. Create a massive enough geometry which is roughly the outer bound of your rigid body collection and apply the scale. Go to the particle properties tab and create a new particle system for it. Bring the end frame to 1 to have all the particles made at once. Expand source and change emit from to volume. Change distribution to grid and don't play with the resolution yet. Go down to the render section and change render as to object. Further down in the instance object section, select the object you want or use the eyedropper tool to point at the object in the scene. Now, now, in order to see the magic, change the viewport shading to wireframe. You should be able to see the massive area of your object. Adjust the scale and scale randomness as per your liking. For more dynamic behavior, enable rotation and randomize as you see fit. Now you can play around with the resolution to determine the number of bodies you need. Once you are happy with what you have, you need to do a few things to make your life easier later on. Create a new collection and transfer this massive particulated geometry to that collection. I'm going to make this plane a passive rigid body for this tutorial. You get to play around however you like. Back to the work at hand. Select the cube, go to the modify properties tab and click on make instances real. Select the cube again and hide or delete it, up to you. Now, how do you make all of them rigid bodies? Simple, select one cube in the collection so that it becomes active. Then right click on the collection name and click on select objects. Go to the object tab on top left, go to rigid body and click add active and you are done. Now when you hit space, you should see them falling to their doom. Don't forget to like the video if it was helpful and subscribe to the channel for more such content. See you again in the next one. Have a great day.